Jeremy. Uh, I'm going to start out with an old standby. It's a poem I did about a midnight jazz bar when I was oh so young. I used to go to these programs, and I lived in Indianapolis, and they started at midnight, and they were the most incredible. They were like bebop musicians, like hardcore jazz, you know, none of this fusion stuff. At <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Sure. So it's called At the Midnight Jazz Bar. A cramped corner stage in an odd-shaped bar Wafting in the blur of neighborhood regulars, pinstripe suits, raggedy casuals, untamed conversations. Jazz musicians lean into the tight window space with a languid, familiar grace. They fondle, press, coax their instruments, flaunt the midnight hour, tease and stretch every wicked improvisation. They are wild, wailing, rhythm-crazed cats, Sultans of swing, masters of seduction, pumping our veins full of warm, pungent jazz in a cozy place where music stirs and twitches lonely souls and hungry bodies. I like to start out with something a little lighter. I've been wanting to write a really good immigration poem because I've written several, and some of them I thought were like overwritten or overdescribed. And I wanted to write one that capsulizes just my feelings about the whole immigration issue. And it's called Fear of the Stranger. Fear of the other, unspoken words, cold indifference. They tell me my Croatian grandfather wore brass knuckles for protection. Humans in a river crushed by wire, ordered ironically by a man in a wheelchair. I see them camped on the floor of the airport, the bodies piling, human misery reduced to a headline. The suffering stranger, misunderstood, feared, judged. A refrain, sadly, not unfamiliar. So immigration problems have been going on for a long time. They seem particularly cruel now, but it's not the first time it's happened. Uh, this one is in my series of democracy poems that I'm doing. Um, I do have a book out. Um, I am going to give my book a little plug. I usually don't do that, but I have a book out. It's a very thin book, so I'm not charging a lot. $12 if you're interested. Just come see me. It's called Democracy Ever Fragile. I self-published because I wanted to get it out uh, in our, our very fragile time for democracy. And this is from, inspired by a telephone conversation with my brother. Upside down world. He told me it was just a riot, just a riot, only with the intent to overthrow an election to stop the peaceful transfer of power. They weren't even armed, he insisted. I guess beating cops' heads with flagpoles and threatening to hang the vice president are okay. He told me Washington is a cesspool. He understands their anger. But what about unity? We have lost our way to compromise, to reasonable bipartisan solutions. He said extreme problems demand extreme solutions. There is no room for compromise. What just happened? The left-wing liberal now supports the rule of law, a calm, rational approach. The ultra-conservative has called for revolution, ripping apart institutions. The world I thought I once knew has turned upside down. The truth, unrecognizable. I'm going to close with a short, uh, kind of sweet poem about cats and their understandings of mortality. Cat pallbearer, mortal enemies while she was still alive, he taunted her with a swipe of his large paws and then chased her, cowering into a corner. Yet he was the first cat to arrive when she took her last breath to plant a gentle lick on her still warm head, the scrappy tomcat warrior softened by love. Or was it simply acknowledgement a member of the feline tribe was leaving our household?